When we make mistakes, even small ones, many of us hope for the chance to make things right. But as KWQC's Morgan OTA shows us, a second chance could be life-changing for one group of women in Iowa. Loading and unloading using heavy machinery. So what do you have that you really need me to stock right now? Sifting through emails and invoices. You should have two checks with two different check numbers. These women are in training. You ordered 25. Okay, sorry, order 25. They're learning about careers in transportation, distribution, and logistics. You need to type and bullet everything in a list first. But this class isn't happening at a college or a business. Problem solving, critical thinking skills. And these ladies are not typical students. My meth addiction started when I was 22. Addie Craver is in prison on drug charges. I thought, well, why don't I just try it and see what the big fuss is, and the first time, and I was hooked on it. She says her meth addiction led to her meth manufacturing, which brought her from eastern Iowa to this place. I've hurt a lot of people in the process. Um, I've made a lot of choices that I normally wouldn't have made. Craver is serving a 25-year sentence at the Iowa Correctional Institution for Women. I'm here because I got charged, sentenced to child endangerment. Jenny Jenkins is serving time in connection to a large-scale sex abuse investigation at Davenport's Patriot Mobile Home Park. My kids got hurt by some very bad men. Prosecutors say Jenkins was allowing her kids to spend time alone with registered sex offenders. She says she never knew it was happening. I'm paying the price for not knowing what was going on and trusting the wrong people. Jenkins hasn't seen her kids in two years, and she may never see them again. It's been the worst thing in my life. How did you provide customer service? But now these women are getting a second chance with an unlikely opportunity. We are the only program who's actually doing training while people are incarcerated. <laughs> Central Iowa Works is spending grant money over a two-year period and training inmates. And we brought employers in and we had them look at the criminal backgrounds of each of the students because we wanted to make sure that they were employable. Good job, team. Their teachers come from Des Moines Area Community College. The inmates have to interview for a spot. It was very overwhelming at first. Violent offenders are not accepted. It's also important that the women chosen are nearing release. Many of them will be out within three to six months. And it does no good to get this training and then two more years before you release because much of what you've learned is, is gone. Pat Steele is the director of Central Iowa Works. He says many of these inmates are exemplary students. And I think they realize that this is really a ticket to a much better life when they are released, so they're highly motivated. It's really nice to have people, um, they, don't, they don't let my past define me. Yeah, which one's the last one I gave you guys? The women in this group are getting a number of certifications, college credit, OSHA, and forklift training. I have a mid-level experience now, and so that is, in itself, is going to help me gain employment. And hopefully, when I have to explain my background, my criminal history, that won't look so bad. I'm hoping to get my CDL license as soon as I get out, then I'll be able to drive semis for a lot of the companies, too. Those are the invoices you have or checks? Yes. They're ready to work, practicing for interviews, building resumes. While we have people here, we need to be working on uh, the skills they're going to need to succeed in the outside because we all benefit when people are released and they never come back here. Little by little, it's boosting their self-esteem. I've gained a lot of confidence with this program. A lot of confidence that I haven't had before. This program is going to make a huge difference in my future. And these women aren't looking back. I can't do that ever again. Um, I love my family too much, and I want to prove to them that I can do this. If I've never been able to be very proud of my life growing up. I actually want to be proud of myself. In Mitchellville, Morgan OTA, KWQC TV 6 News. The grant money for the program will most likely be gone by the end of this year or early next year. But Central Iowa Works and Des Moines Area Community College will look for funding elsewhere, even expanding the program to train inmates in other areas like advanced manufacturing and health care.